it's not jewel actually it's metal smithing and uh, we've structured the whole there's a lot of this element which has been used throughout the jewelry and we thought it's a very strong element when it came out in when we metal smith it so it's also workable it, it's not stiff you can have your glass or wine or whatever with it going for your evening parties or i feel wearing a clutch with a nice uh, jewel hand glove is very opulent and just makes a statement that's about yeah. it it actually does feel pretty great i do feel really strong and powerful uh, it is very warrior inspired and it completely comes across in the jewelry and the clothes. So also when you walk, you feel like a goddess and you strut like a goddess, you know. The one thing that we really should enjoy and explore is a is a color, and I'm not talking about color in a very stifling sense where it's you know it's like trying to kill you or choke you down, but a color more relaxed piece. Uh, Something which is a dialogue, but at the same time, it's not overwhelming you or it's not trying to uh, overshadow who you are. But, you know, you could layer it under a jacket, wear it over a white t-shirt and just make it a little more casual and relaxed. But at the same time, let it be like a dialogue starter. I think a, a collar would be fantastic this year. Whether it's acrylic, bake light, rubber, suhani piti jewelry, anybody's jewelry. But if you can explore a beautiful collar in your uh, wardrobe, I think it'd be fantastic. So my collection this time is called Frozen. It's a celebration of a feeling that most of us feel, which is to want to preserve everything and freeze everything in time, all our happy moments, all our happy memories. What I did was I took the theme a little, uh, you know, over the top and I put uh, shoes into the snow globe. So what happens is that, you know, you could see them encased in it, but then I had to switch on these tiny buttons at the back and the fans would come on and there was actual snow flying around the shoe. So I think, uh, yeah, it was very true to the theme of the collection, which was frozen. And this was, I froze the shoes in the snow globe forever, eternity. So uh, there were a lot of lilacs and frosty blues and, you know, so I used icy suede and I used silver jute. But the best part of my collection that I really like is that all the pieces are very heavily embellished, even accessories, even the shoes are all embroidered. I think it's feminine yet rebellious and crazy. Um, I mean, Shabika always says I'm her muse since she her is. first shoot. And because I'm feminine and rebellious and I like to sort of keep things edgy. So I love wearing pink, but at the same time, I'll edge out the outfit. Yeah. So that's totally what she does. <laughs> Lakme Salon and Little Shilpa have the same belief that fashion goes beyond clothes. Like, you know, you can choose to wear a shirt one day or dress one day, but your hair is something that you wear every day. And I think it's a great thing that Lakme Salon is making these services available so you do have the option of playing around with your hair. So you can either color it or you can texturize it. So I think it's a great service. The inspiration is actually from the LACME team. What they've done is they've looked at global uh, themes and then they've picked three themes which work for the Indian market. So the three themes were Illusion, Metamorphosis and Moulin Rouge. Illusion is for uh, color because it's, you know, when you do colors and you're highlighting, so it creates a kind of mystery. So that's Illusion. And then with Moulin Rouge, it's, you know, it's sexy, it's elegant, but we're still tweaking it for a modern woman. And metamorphosis is about, you know, the transition from textures or lengths of hair, so it's from long hair to short hair or uh, straight hair to curly hair. So these are the three uh, themes that, you know, that they've kind of shortlisted.